So today, guys, I'm going to be sharing different kinds of methods, different kinds of natural methods, or let's say home remedy that you can use to rupture that particular battling cyst. Okay, we're still on battling cyst. So if you don't know what battling cyst is, you've not heard of it, then go ahead and check my other video about battling cyst. I thought about battling cyst, what it is, causes, and every other thing about it. So check it out and let me know what you think. Because this is one thing that a lot of, in fact, a lot of us doesn't know about. And most people that are suffering from battling cysts tend to like hide out, okay? They just hide inside and be peeling the paint. They just don't feel like saying or talking about it. But to tell you the truth, this is a condition that is very common. And most times it's caused by a lot, a lot of different things. So check that video out and you will know more about this okay so but if you have battling cysts like you have a cyst that has been there it's not paining you and you're like what do i do to get this thing off my system off my body okay this video is for you because i am sharing different methods or if you don't want to go for surgery you don't want to go for surgical drainage of this cyst you're like what do i do naturally to help myself get over this this video is also for you okay or you have like you don't have a lot of different things that you can use to do this particular remedy because i'm sharing different methods okay why i share different methods in this video is to help you in case you don't have this particular one you can go for another one so this is everything that you're going to be seeing in this video so hit the subscribe button if you haven't to get more and more of this kind of videos let me also see your comments of what you think and what you're passing through where you are and how it works if it works for you i would love to see your comment in the comment section okay so you're welcome to a new video and all my son subscribers you know i can't forget you guys yes I cannot forget you guys. You're welcome. Also, my name is Glory. Like as always, I am sharing today helpful tips to help you. Okay, get free rupture assist, and you're free from all the pains. Okay, so you're welcome. The first thing when it comes to natural methods is. When it comes to natural methods to heat heal your battling cyst or to rupture that battling cyst, the first thing I'm going to be talking about, which is very important, is doing cyst bites. Okay, cyst bites is another proper and effective way to heal from this particular cyst to rupture this cyst and get over it. Okay, so do not just look down on this issue on this um cyst bites. Cyst bites is one thing that many women after delivery do, especially when it comes to this our side. Okay, we do it okay to heal after delivery to heal that particular area. How do you do this cyst bites? We are talking about you just get a ball that you can sit down on it's not going to break okay or if you don't have something like that we also have seed bath pearl that is sold online okay a ball that's sold online properly made perfectly made for this purpose okay if you don't have it you can order but it's very easy for you to get a ball that is wide enough for you to sit down on and everything will be coming why you need something wide enough is so that you're going to add hot water into it and it's not going to be the hot water that's burning your skin okay you need something that you can accommodate yes so you add the water and another thing that you need for this issue okay for the this particular remedy so you add it into that particular bowl and you're going to sit down on it allow the vapor okay of this things to enter and go against this particular cyst okay this is just more like it's a boil or an inflammation so you need something that will drag the pus out so especially when you have a cyst that's not paining you when you have a cyst that is there for a long time and you're like how do i do it? this is one thing that you can be doing always then it to drag the pus and then rupture it that is it and you are going to be free from all those stuff okay so number one thing that you need to add into your cyst bad water is is um ginger tea yes ginger tea ginger oil or anything ginger any form of ginger thing okay whether it's the paste the oil or even the um the tea okay so what we need is something that has this anti-inflammatory properties okay that has this harsh a little tingling sensation to that particular cyst to help drag it and open it okay so another thing also if you don't have or if you don't want to or if it's not working for you because some systems some people's 
uh, uh, system are different you can go for turmeric oil okay turmeric oil is another thing that will help you to heal from this battle battling system. it will rupture it like faster okay at the end of towards the end of this video i will tell you the secret of all these things that you're going to do to make it work faster so but before we get into that you need to make oil in the place of ginger tea if you don't have ginger tea or if you don't if ginger tea is not working for you you need to add like two teaspoons of um turmeric oil into that water okay to help rupture that particular cyst another thing that can also be very good to heal this um battling cyst or to rupture it is witch hazel i don't know if you have seen what is i don't know i don't have any witch hazel around here i would have shown you what it is okay i will still be writing the names of those things i'm calling on the uh, screen so that you see what i'm talking about so this also will help you to heal from this to rupture this cyst very very faster so if you have witch hazel in your house you are good to go okay just add it into that water you're using for cyst bath and then sit on it for a few minutes okay and when you're doing this but don't go and stress yourself and said you want to like burn your skin you end up burning your skin and all that if it's too hot on you you are free to sit down what is holding you right there so you're free to sit down okay breathe and then sit back again do it for a few minutes and after that you are good okay and another good remedy that you can add to this water you're using for your seat but is apple cedar vinegar okay so if you have apple cedar vinegar you are good to go okay so just add some um, few drops of apple cedar vinegar not really drops okay like two to three teaspoons of apple cedar vinegar into your water okay now sit down on it next other thing that you can also do is to use the apple cedar vinegar dilute it with water and use it to clean your cyst okay use it to clean that particular cyst you can get where the mouth is because every seat has its mouth but sometimes you might not see it based on where it's located okay so if you can get to where the mouth is where it is going to it's going to rupture from that is what i mean go there and clean that particular area with the apple cedar vinegar okay apple cedar vinegar diluted okay diluted one so use it and clean that area do it like do it often it's also very helpful in healing your cyst okay rupturing your cyst next other thing that you can do at this level at this time this is not to rupture the cyst this is to help relieve you from pain is to be taking pain relief okay i know that most times it doesn't even work okay you might also take pain relief and it's also paining you You'll be like it's not working but it does because what of when you didn't take that pain relief, how would it end up being? You don't know. So go ahead and take your pain relief to help reduce the pains on you. Another thing that you can also add if you don't have this one I called or if you don't want to go for this one I called is castor oil. Okay. Castor oil is another good agent. Okay. Good uh, substance that can help you to bust or rupture this particular cyst. Okay. So if you have castor oil, add like a half teaspoon of castor oil into your water okay then sit on it allow the vapor to be going directly on that cyst this is one thing that will help next other thing if you do not have this particular one that you can add into your cyst bad water is um, um tea tree oil okay this is another effective agent okay that can help you to rupture this particular cyst very very fast so add your tea tree oil like eight to ten drops of tea tea oil into that particular water you're using for this purpose okay and then sit down on it okay sit on it and then do your cyst bath as usual okay and one thing i want to tell you guys is that when you're doing your cyst bath make sure that you do it every four four hours that's one of the secrets of effectiveness of this method okay so do it every four four hours and you're going to see the result faster you are going to see the result faster okay yes and uh, the more um the main thing about this thing is that if your battling cyst is still very like tender is already paining you is infectious it's going to rupture faster but if it's the type that is not paining you even the mucus has not even formed you need to give it like two to three days or even more than that okay depending so if you don't want to go for cyst but let me tell you another good method okay i can use if you are not the type that likes sitting down on hot water you're like what do i do let me tell you what on that thing one other thing that i found out to be very effective is 
to bring your ginger paste fresh ginger paste okay then fresh turmeric paste yes and then add castor oil to this um two um ingredients okay add castor oil to it like bring a teaspoon of turmeric turmeric paste a teaspoon of ginger paste and then add your castor oil into this particular mixture mix it add a little water make sure that it's not in a running consistency okay that it is thick in consistency then bring your clean hanky okay bring your hanky and then add this scoop this particular mixture that you have mixed together and put it in that particular hanky and then place it on your seat okay if this is harsh on your skin remove it immediately okay but if it is like giving you tingling sensation then allow it be okay it is going to bust that um cyst so you have to also do this continuously you need to be doing it consistently like every four hours or every six, six hours my sister you're going to see this so this is one other thing that i found out to be very effective okay in rupturing this particular cyst so but if you don't want if you don't have castor oil you can bring that ginger tea and uh, ginger paste and turmeric paste then add tea tree oil to that particular paste okay then you you use it and place on that particular cyst leave it there for few minutes based on how you can accommodate okay withstand the tingling sensation but make sure it's not burning your skin okay make sure you dilute with a little water and it's not running it's not going to be running okay it shouldn't be running in consistency so that it will stay right there on your cyst so leave it there after some time clean your system don't leave it too long so leave it like few minutes you clean your system like three to five minutes clean your system and you do it after four hours okay keep doing this consistently you are going to see results within 24 hours okay within 24 hours i promise you that's one thing i have I, like i have seen it working so it's not something that i don't even know another method i'm going to be talking about here is using print okay print is a kind of a um, mixture that is sold online it, is, it has anti-inflammatory properties and also have um, a tendency of rupturing that particular cyst very fast. This is also very effective when you don't want all these stuff. Like, you want to go for something simple and neat, okay? Then go ahead and order for this print, okay? I will also write the name here. Order for it and it's like, it's in cream form and it's brown, like brownish in color, okay? So now... It's in cream form you have to take it like you want to rub cream on your body just scoop a little and rub it place it on that particular seat okay so leave this for like six hours after some time after that six hours clean up and redo okay this is another effective way of rupturing your cyst okay very easy and it doesn't have any bad effect it's not going to pain you that much okay but don't think that you're going to feel relaxed like you are going to like it's not going to pay you you don't no no no, no. most times if the cysts have already started paying you so you know everything but whenever the cyst ruptures you are going to be free from it okay you are going to be free from it so that's one thing you should know so it's worth doing okay these methods i talked about here are very very effective another way another way to heal your your battling cysts especially when it have not gotten infected okay when it's still uh, like um hard when it, it has not formed okay it's not paining you it's not ready she's not showing you that it's infected okay then look for a kind of anti-inflammatory supplement that you can be taking if you take this for few days this particular cyst will rupture by itself or even go back okay something like um something like omega-3 omega-3 capsule okay would also help you to heal from this particular issue because i've noticed that bad or poor diet is also one other thing that contributes to this because when you, you eat things that reduces inflammation you see that you don't it doesn't even come back again i will also do video about um about how to stay free from this so that it doesn't because you should know that it most times your cause okay most times okay so how you can stay free from it so that it doesn't come back again okay that's another thing i will do video on so but today i have managed to share with you guys some of the home remedies some of the natural remedies that you can use that are very much available around you okay to heal from this but and like to rupture it so that you'll be free from all the pains okay so you should also know that
with time this doesn't take that long it does not take much before you know it you are free from all these things you are free from it but we pray that it doesn't come back again because the pain is not something that is that pleasant okay so that is it for today's video if you like the video what are you waiting for if you have not hit that subscribe button please hit the subscribe button okay hit the notification bell so if you find when i upload a new video see you guys in my next video